Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. You've joined us right bang in the middle of a five episode series. This is episode number three. I'm trying to find every single 50p and £2 that you can get in circulation. I need Kew Gardens and some Olympic coins in the 50p section. And all I need in the £2 section is Commonwealth Games Wales. Don't worry if you haven't seen the two episodes, you can always go back and watch them. But I don't suppose you absolutely need to unless you really, 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 really want to. Um, because every individual hunt is an individual hunt. £400, we've got £100 worth of 50p's, £300 worth of £2 coins. Um, £400 in total. And I say it's part of a £2,000, oops, that we've got a spiller, Groove Jet and Spiller. It's part of a little mini series where I got £1,500 worth of £2 coins from the post office and someone had cashed all of them in to buy their travel money to go on their holidays. So I'm really hoping that there's some super duper rare and valuable coins in here that are worth more than the £2 that's, uh, that's printed on them. Because they just might not know what uh, what's occurring. Just don't see if any of that letter any doubled. Sometimes you get that on the two thousand ten technologies. So yes, someone we collect them for a, for a year or two or whatever, saving up for their holidays, and they just cash the coins in because they don't they, they, they don't look at the at the at the coins that you know the, the pictures on them. They just take it for what it is, face value. Um, I've got a lucky leprechaun to tell you about. He's down here if you haven't seen him already. Ellie and I went to Dublin. We went to the National uh, Leprechaun Museum. And I bought that token. And so far he has brought us plenty of luck in the first two hunts anyway. There, there's the first find of this hunt. That is the St. Paul. The magnanimity coin. Commemorating 65 years since the end of the Second World War. But it is unfortunately only worth two pound as is this one that is isambard kingdom brunel he's an engineer he designed bridges he didn't design one in uh it's not brotherton brotherton something like that that was in fact stevenson and it helped with that one but anyway don't worry about it unless your name's master dan temple don't worry about it right there is a shakespeare coin that will not, I guarantee that will be the, not be the last Shakespeare coin we find in this episode. So we've got £300 worth of coins. Oh, in fact, there's the second one. £300 worth of £2 coins. And you're almost guaranteed to get Shakespeare, possibly a full set all three. And you're guaranteed to get a St. Paul's, or almost guaranteed because they are just so highly minted and not necessarily... So after, there is the act of the abolition of the slave trade. Another common one. Around about 8 million of them were minted. 7 million something. Can't remember off the top of my head, but they are so common. But, uh, they're not worth any more than £2. So come on, lucky leprechaun. Let's have some, uh, see if you can work some, some more magic. I said, if you haven't seen the last two episodes, they are worth what going back and watching. That's the Brunel Archers. We've got a little mini set there. That's the guy, Brunel. There are his archers, the ones at Paddington Station. I do like a little mini set. And that is the Act of Union. Celebrating Scotland and England becoming the United Kingdom. There we go. But not particularly valuable. Just two pound. Right. I do. If I do every now and again, I'll, I do, if I get a two thousand and fifteen technologies like that one, I will flip it and see which way the queen's facing, because we do know that they are they are rotated. And you can have it. You can have a tens worth of coin on your hands just because the coin the, the, the queen's flipped round the other way. There's a 1999 Rugby World Cup. Found quite a few of these in this little mini series. Maybe four, five, six of them, maybe. So it just give me a little bit of hope that uh, there's more and more commemoratives to be had. 
There's another Shakespeare Histories, three of them. It's a grubby one. So if you're watching this as they upload, there's five episodes and they're gonna up, up, they, uh, upload every day for five days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And if you're not watching it as they upload, and you, you know, you're watching this in the future, then welcome. Room that. And the lights come as well. I had to put my lights on. Again, just looking for that any doubling of the lettering in the 2010 the technology coin. Yes, it's getting dark in the magic studio. The nights are drawing in. Summer is over. It will soon be Christmas. Unless I say you're watching this in the future at any point. And I suppose it could be summer outside, could be freezing, could be, ooh, there's a nice one. Uh, it'll be this one here. Two pound coin, 2012. It could be Charles Dickens, which is only worth two pound, but it's not. It is the real handover. So that is a brilliant find. Less than a million minted. Worth a good four or five pounds. That's the start to plumb. The lucky leprechaun strikes again. He's found once again the pot of gold. Although Senna, when Ellie and I were in the National Leprechaun Museum, they actually corrected me. Well, not corrected me, but um, they were talking in the group about where would a leprechaun hide his gold, or find his gold, sorry. There's uh, another. Shakespeare histories um, people said oh the rainbow end of the rainbow but actually that's where he would hide it so if he had lots of gold that he made through making shoes or repairing shoes oh there's a nice one golden guinea a keeper for some probably three pounds worth of coin there mintage of three million or just under this one lots and lots of mintage in that one, Army Centenary, you see that regularly. So, yes, and oh, there's another one. Have, have you got four in one bag? Yes, we have. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. Um, so, yeah, the leprechaun, once he'd, once he'd got his money or made his money, he would hide it at the end of a rainbow rather than finding it there. So, hey, her. So, now you know. And leprechauns weren't always green either. They wore little uh, waistcoats, little brown and brown jackets. The green of a leprechaun comes from Walt Disney. He made a film of the King Leprechaun or the King Fairy. Wanted it to stand out, so made him green, and then it just stuck. People associate leprechauns with green suits. There's another Robert Burns. Found one of them in the last episode. See, so people do keep them. Because the, oh, that was, in fact, that was the last two pound. Onto the 50p's. So yes, yeah, some people do keep them. As I say, it's probably worth, maybe it's worth three pound that one. Although it's not in great nick. Maybe it's two pound 50. But it's, with a mintage around three million, it's relatively scarce. But I only keep one or two for emergencies only. Dictionaries, really common, 50p that one. Nothing else. So just 10 bags, so when you're just doing 10 bags of 50p's, a quick fire will last through the 50p's. I just hope that there's any commemoratives. You know, and that maybe find five commemoratives would be nice. But yes, an Olympic. And an Olympic for the book would be just smashing, fine and dandy. Right, another commemorative of 2004's Roger Bannister. 9,032,000 of them were minted. 
It was reissued in 2019, but it shouldn't be in circulation because it was only put into commemorative packs. And I suppose technically it was, was it reissued? It was reissued in 2009 as well, in the 40, 40 years of the 50 pence set. But surely, surely you're never gonna find one of them in circulation because it was part of a proof set. Very expensive to buy at the time, and even more expensive to own now. Because they ain't making any more. There is Diversity Build Britain. Mm, sorry, I'm gonna have to just nudge you out there. Well, plum finds. We'll come back to you in, again at the end. Another dictionaries. So that didn't I? That wasn't very manly. I used to be much stronger. Oof, it's a dirty one. I am checking the years as well on these shields. See if there's any low minted, uh, non, not intended, not intended, not intended for circulation years. Or any years of interest, like 2017, which is a low minted year. So I do check them as I go. Oh, there's another, another dictionaries. Still don't know why the 2019 shields ting make a different sound compared to others, other years. I've had a few guesses, but nothing concrete. There's another dictionary, loads of them, loads of them. Right, five bags left, we're halfway through the 50 piece. Can we do better than high mintage? Face value 50 ps Let's see. Well, yeah, that's had a hard life. It's worn away that. Whoops. rip on the bag just but it just opens up nicely makes me feel good I get a buzz here's a commemorative coin Paddington at the tower and we've also got the Battle of Hastings straight after it from 2016 it's a nice condition that probably the best 50p of the hunt so far so it is relatively highly minted at around about the six million mark. But a keeper for some, not for me, or they say that an emergency only. Just keep a couple for emergency trades. Or if it's in really nice, really nice condition, I might keep it. But other than that, the Battle of Hastings goes back into circulation. He goes on to fight another day. Speaking of fighty, there's a Victoria Cross medals. Really high minted that one, 12 million. Or just over. Oh, that one's battered as well. Look at the state of that. 2016. Oh, please. 2016, this is a, this is going to be a commemorative coin. Team GB, flipping heck. Look at the state of that. Absolutely wrecked. Flip their neck. Keep that. Might send it to a friend of mine. He collects battered coins. He might already have that one. It's pretty common, but surely he hasn't got one in that condition. Or as bad as that. Surely not. Look at that. Look at 
That's another one. Absolutely wrecked. Wrecked the Mondo. Right, last bag of 50 pences. And then we'll review what we've got as the geese go by. As the geese fly home. Goosey goosey. Please do subscribe, people, if you're not already. Turn on that notification bell and you'll get a little beep every time I or Lady M and I upload a new video. Do put a like on the video. It really helps us out if you put a like on it and leave us a comment. That would be great. And that Paddington at the tower will see us out. Right, let's have a little look at all of them. There we go. So 50p, just a little honourable mention for that Battle of Hastings, but nothing to write home about. We've got three nice coins in the £2 genre, but this is the plum. The Rio handover, when the Olympics handed over from Rio, uh, from the, U the UK to Great Britain, back over to Rio. Nice. Five is worth a coin, I'm saying. Five quid. Right, thanks, Lucky Leprechaun. You've done as proud three episodes in a row. Two left to go. Please do watch it and uh, obviously leave us something in the comments let you know what you think. Right, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.